So today, I want to bring you to one of my favorite beaches here in Southern Oregon. It's one of the most popular beaches. And I'm sure you've seen pictures of this awesome looking place. This is uh, Secret Beach. And it's not that big of a secret. trail here to the beach has a loop trail right next to it on the same path and that one's about 30 minutes and it takes you down and around so you can get a different perspective of this beach. It's uh, very pretty but there is no beach access from here. I'm still doing the, uh, the bottom loop trail, which is the first left and that then joins with the Secret Beach Trail. And that's the only one that has access to the beach. So I'm walking down, I hear the birds chirping and the squirrels. And the trail, the hike down here is phenomenal. I don't know if you can see behind me, the trees with the moss. And very eerie, very special trail. It's literally like out of Jurassic Park. You're walking around the big ferns and the moss covered trees. And it's just a, a sight that seems to be from a different planet. It is one of my favorite beaches here. For pictures, it's phenomenal. It's an awesome, awesome landscape. What a view. And it's a beautiful day too. Hopefully we can get some good sunset pictures. finally stopped raining and there's quite a few clouds in the sky that with the right light would look amazing so I'm trying to hurry up and get down there I think I have about a half hour it should be enough but I gotta stop talking and, and do some more walking so let's get to it These trails here are awesome. It's a great way to spend an hour or two. The sounds and just how, 
just how everything glows, the moss and how amazing everything looks. Reminds me of Avatar. So I think you can see why this beach is so popular. It's beautiful. I mean, it really is like being in, in a different planet. The hike down here is phenomenal. The view, the, the energy here is, is it's amazing. The clouds are right where they should be. So hopefully with a little bit of light from underneath, it'll look spectacular. So I'm gonna go sit up and just hurry up and wait, I guess, because enjoy the view, enjoy the peaceful stillness while it lasts. It looks like the sun is going down and it's about to go behind a fog bank so I hope that doesn't ruin the color that I was expecting. I got my camera set up. I put a filter on it. It's a graduated filter, an ND filter. And hopefully we get enough color in the clouds and hopefully the clouds don't move. <laughs> too much to the south because they're right on the edge of my image here and I'm hoping they stay but another 10-15 minutes maybe and we'll see what happens. The light is starting to look amazing. This is awesome. I think it's done. <laughs> I don't want to say it was a dud because it was so beautiful, but it was not exactly what I was expecting. I wanted some light here on the rocks and maybe some bright colors on the clouds, but I think what came out is beautiful. Like I say, this spot here, it's, it's magical. It, there's something, something very mystical about it. It just, the energy, the, the location is just tremendous. So, well, since we're gonna have to start hiking back here in, in the dark, I'm gonna start gathering my things and uh, go from there. Look, there's a person on the beach. So I'll, I'll show you a picture. I'll do a video for scale. So as you can tell, this time I'm prepared. I can see where I'm going. I don't think it's gonna take as long to get up this hill, but I don't want to be caught in the dark again. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Please consider subscribing to this channel. 
And don't forget to click that like button. It does help me out a lot. Until next time. Bye.